I'm Jamie Hunt and I've just finished recording the Pro Lix Pentatonic Brutality Series 1. This is definitely aimed at the metal market, people want to play metal lead guitar, um, but the focus is on how to use the blues and pentatonic scale within a metal context. Usually, if you use a blues or pentatonic scale in, in different styles, it's, it's melodic, it's, it's a smooth sound where every note sounds nice. Um, players like Dimebag and Zach Wilde, they use the same scale, but they get a very brutal, vicious sound from those same five notes. So we're looking at how we can emulate that kind of approach with a very traditional scale in a metal context. The, the backing track, when I put it together, it's all based around D minor, so it opened up plenty of possibilities for D blues scale and D minor pentatonic. There's two riffs to the backing track, so it's kind of a section A and a section B approach. The first riff is based around a D power chord with D pentatonic turnarounds in the backing track phrases. So lots of D and then D blues scale in the first section. The second section moves around a, a more traditional chord sequence, but it's got accents uh, and different chords ringing for different durations, and it's got more of a, almost like a chorus feel to it. So you can contrast blues licks in the first section and kind of more melodic chord tone type playing in the second section, so you can get almost like a verse chorus vibe from those two sections. There's something for everybody in this series. Um, from people that have been playing for you know, a year or two to people that have advanced and want to be really challenged technically. In the first few solos, the emphasis is on um, taking a few notes and not really playing lots of notes, but making those notes have plenty of expression. So it'll be single notes, but it'll be how you attack the note, how much vibrato you put on the note. So the, the opening few solos, it, there's a focus, but it's a, a, a gradual build. As you get into the end solos, the technique um, becomes a much higher level. There's more challenges, there's faster changes and, and longer sequences. So um, whether you want to just make a few notes sound vicious, or you want to play a, a lick that takes everybody's head off because it's a uh, technical level that dazzles people, it's all there. Okay, so the format here is um, it's six solos that get progressively more challenging as you go through. You start by hearing the full solo, and then afterwards I'm going to break down each solo so you know what I've done and how it can piece together. Definitely um, grab hold of backing tracks because a lot of the phrases that I've used deliberately tie up with um, accents on, from the, the backing and the drum parts. Within this series, there's a full tone and gear section. Um, I've used very specific equipment with very specific settings to make it sound right for this genre. So I've gone through the guitar, the pedals, the, any rack effects that are being used, settings on the amp, take my settings as a starting point and then tweak it so it's fine-tuned to your own setup. But yeah, I'll walk you through exactly what to do to get the right sound for, for this kind of metal. It's a lot of fun making this series, mainly because it was a chance for me to take the, the elements that I think are important, the things that I've learnt along the way, and put them into, strategically place them into some of the solos so that I can pass on that information as and when the person receiving that lesson is ready to learn it. But it's a, it's a nice way to tip the hat to certain players and show what I've learned and then pass on the key ingredients to, to what they've passed on to me to, to all the people that want to gain the same skills. I'm Jamie Hunt. I hope you've enjoyed learning from this series. I've had a lot of fun making the series. If you want to play like a pro, you've got to learn from the pros. So check out all the products on promusictutor.com and I'll see you on the next series.